I never thought I'd be introducing someone as a quarantine crafter. And that's just what Allie is. Allie, how are you? Doing great. <laughs> Good. And you've been confined to the house, but I hear you're COVID free. We are COVID free here. Good. Well, that's what I like to hear. Now you have some great crafting ideas for stock puppets with things that people have at home. How do we start? So first of all, you want to make a list of different options for your kids mm -hmm. to choose from. So okay. if they want hair or a hat, um, if they want what shape of ears, how many eyes, things like that. And okay. you just list things that you already have. So for me, I had to limit myself because I have so many craft supplies. Of course. <laughs> Some people might have to use paper plates or just cardstock or cardboard or things like that. Um, and you can create all sorts of monsters and creatures out of these things. And of course, we all know that we have a sock drawer that, you know, uh, they're not, they don't have a match. And so, of course, we can grab those and get going. So show us some that you've made. So I've got this little snake guy. He's got pom-poms for so ears. So cute. Ear. A little <laughs> um, I yeah, happen cute. to have an obsession with googly eyes, so I have a plethora. But this little guy, like he, it? he's got buttons for eyes. Oh, I love, 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 love. But you know what? Buttons are great. And, you know, I bet you there's a lot of people that have crafting drawers or rooms like you, so they might be limiting themselves too. Or even if you've got one of those shirts that has the like three extra buttons on the bottom. There you go. That's true. It's a smart way to do it. And we've so got, got that I one. Like to have my guy have accessories. So uh -huh. after your kid is done making their sock puppet, have them name them. This one could Cute. be Kevin. I don't know. Kevin's a good name. I mean, we know that we need more people to associate with during all of this. So have a friend, right? And, and Kevin can have a story. You know, is, is Kevin cold? He can have a scarf. Look at that. <laughs> right? Or maybe Kevin needs to have a Zoom meeting at work. So he has a bow tie. Ah, I like this. And they just have little imagination going. pins on the back. Okay. I like it. So let the kids do it. Do you find it's easier to just hot glue gun things on? Or what do you use? So I personally prefer hot glue. I've got my hot okay. glue right now, but honestly, you could use tacky glue. There's also tacky glue. Um, tacky glue, okay, is that a good one? I love tacky glue. It okay. takes longer to dry, but it's also kid safe. You don't have to worry about them about it. themselves. It's uh, water soluble, so you can wash your hands and it just comes off. Okay. If you don't have fabric or construction paper, you can also use markers or paint. I've got True. Sharpies, you name it, you could do it. And I like your idea of use a paper plate. I mean, that's so easy to create some eyes out, let the kids color it however they want to, you know, get creative. And I, go ahead. Painter's tape. What is that? It's painter's tape. I cut a circle. Oh, out. Maybe he has use spots. that too. Okay. You see, this is why we call you because you have all the ideas. You're always good about this. So Ali, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And I really like how you, you know, said, give them a story, get the kids imagination going and keep them learning through all of this. And if you have multiple kids, maybe their characters could interact with each other. I love it. Allie, you're the best. Hey, keep quarantine crafting. And when you have another idea, let us know. Will do. Okay, we'll see you later.